Hello, uh, welcome back to Principles of Engineering. So uh, one of the next projects we're going to be working on is uh, developing a PowerPoint that highlights a particular um, device that is either hydraulically or uh, pneumatically actuated. Uh, so what you're going to need is a uh, title slide with a picture of the students uh, or a picture of you with the, with the device uh, if possible, uh, a slide that, uh, that gives the, an overall picture of the device, the, the model, uh, and a description of what the device does. Uh, another slide with a picture of the reservoir and uh, including the type, is it, is it an open or is it a pressurized uh, reservoir, uh, how does it work, that kind of thing. Um, a picture of the uh, pump or compressor with the where, where it's at uh, and uh, the the uh, type of uh, pump or compressor is it a gear pump is it a, uh, a piston pump or etc uh, a picture of the of a valve there's probably going to be several valves uh, and and uh, what it what it what it is what it does and what it, what it controls uh, a picture of an actuator um, which look like which look like pistons um, and, and what that device does, uh, what it controls, uh, and then a slide with uh, additional components that are on the, uh, the, the device. Um, so uh, you're going to get points for those slides, so a slide for each one if you want to have two slides up for, for, for them, uh, for one of them or two of them or whatever, that's fine too. Um, but at least one slide for each one. Um, and then uh, I'm going to have you guys do what you did on the last PowerPoint, where you you uh, you read it, you read it to the computer, and uh, we we looked at it. You presented that way uh, via um, Screencastify or or some other uh, uh, device or software that that'll work. Um, so you want to um, use voice variation, meaning don't don't talk in a monotone voice. Um, and and make sure it's evident that we know that you you practice this a little bit, um, and and same with preparation uh, that shows that you you uh, you um, you were prepared for this. You didn't just wing it, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, that you knew what you were talking about, and uh, and finally uh, the time should be between three and six minutes. Um, so try to keep an eye on the time. So here's kind of an example of one. This one isn't isn't perfect, uh, but it, it does. Whoops, that's not it. Um, that's it. So here is for a uh, compact utility loader. Um, so we've got the the title slide, uh, a little bit about what it what it does, um, picture of of the of the device. Uh, comes with various attachments. Uh, here we've got a slide that goes into uh, the de the details of the pump. Um, so what the pump, what kind of pump it is, what what power, what supplies the power, the capacities, that kind of thing. Uh, the reservoir. Um, so it shows the reservoir. Talks about the reservoir. Um, talks shows the filler neck. Uh, the controls. Um, and etc. Uh, shows the picture of the controls. So these are the valves, or well, these aren't the valves themselves. These are levers which control the valves. Um, and um, um, actuators uh, talks about the actuators. Should show and it shows a picture of the actuators. Uh, these are the actuators on on the device. Um, and then it, uh, uh, anyway, I'll put this for you guys. Um, it, it goes into other components, um, uh, and, uh, uh, pros and cons. Now that's not listed on the, uh, on the, uh, um, rubric, uh, but if you need some time, uh, if you need to fill some time, then that might be something that you want to, you want to cover. Um, you don't have to have a picture of the, uh, the schematic. Uh, but if you need some time again, that might be something you want to you want to throw on there. Um, so uh, anyway, that that's a pretty decent but uh, example. It's not perfect. Uh, if you just follow the rubric, you'll you'll do uh, just fine.
So, uh, looking forward to getting those. These will be due uh, after we get back, uh, not the first day we get back, uh, probably within the first week or two, though, uh, they'll be due. Um, I recommend that you, you actually, I mean, you can kind of do this all online, but uh, I'd recommend that you, uh, you go to a hardware store and go to their, um, their rental company, their, their rental department. And uh, ask them to show you a, 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 a hydraulically powered device, and uh, you can get all your your stuff done, uh, you know, right there, and get your picture in front of it, and learn a little bit about about one of the devices. That's that's what I would recommend doing. Uh, they should have several to choose from, and um, you know, you can always Google any other information that you need, but you get your pictures knocked out um, like that. So anyway. Uh, good luck, and like I said, this this will be due um, probably uh, maybe a week after we get back, uh, somewhere about about like that. Okay, all right, see you.